There were slaves that didn't realize they were supposed to be free. Many think the Emancipation Proclamation signed by President Abraham Lincoln was the end of slavery in America, but it wasn't. Two years after Emancipation Proclamation, where the last few of the slaves were freed in Texas, and we're just celebrating our actual Independence Day. The true end of slavery was June 19th, 1865. And now on June 19th, 2020, Derek Hurd put together a festival in Omaha, recognizing that historic day. You know, a lot of people think this is something to deal with, like protesting or something. It's not what it is. We're just having fun and enjoying the celebration. It's kind of, you know, a liberation day, a freedom day. Uh, kind of like uh, Independence Day. Philip Brown has family from Texas and says this day resonates with him greatly as he hopes people of all races see the importance of this holiday. It's kind of a time for us to kind of come together and understand each other and, uh, you know, bring a, a better society for our children and um, our children's children. Guest speakers and live music took the stage. The food was all donated and heard reiterated one of the best ways to make your voice heard is this November. We got, um, if you want to register to vote, you can do that here tonight. You know, there's, there's so much stuff going on. And with several companies now recognizing Juneteenth as a holiday, Heard says people are listening, and he hopes it continues. We're getting one step closer to people actually working together and seeing the importance in unification.